darling, I feel you under my body. Only love, only love, give me shelter or show me heart. Come on, love, come on, love, watch me fall apart, watch me fall apart. Since the meteors tonight, <laughs> and don't let the hay catch on fire from the bonfire. <laughs> but I think we'll all be good. And just, thank you for Hillary. We love you. And let's do this thing. <laughs> See you later. 
stars above you And longer if I can How long will I need you? As long as the seasons need to Follow their plan How long will I be with you? As long as the sea is bound to Wash upon the sand How long will I want you? As long as you want me to Longer by far How long will I hold you? As long as your father told you As long as you can How long will I give to you? As long as I live through you However long you say Above you, and longer if I may. How long will I love you? As long as stars are above you. Nice to have you all here to witness and to celebrate the covenant that Stephen and Hillary are making to each other today. They've washed each other's feet as a symbol of a new beginning, washing off the dust and the dirt of the journey that has brought them here. It also represents their desire for their marriage to be filled with humility and care for one another. Let us pray. Lord, we thank you for this day. We thank you for the gift of marriage. And we thank you for your presence here. Lord, we ask that you bless Stephen and Hillary and the excellent adventure they're beginning together today. In your name we pray. Amen. Stephen and Hillary, I feel so blessed that you've allowed me to be a part of not just one big event in your life, but two. This wedding today and your baptisms just a year ago. On the surface, these events might not seem like they change much. When you're baptized, you, you go in dry and you come up wet, and when you're married, well, tomorrow you'll still be Stephen and you'll still be Hillary. Does anything change? There's nothing magic that happens between now and tomorrow, but the reality is everything changes. The truth is these two events, baptism and marriage, make a big difference and a world of difference in your lives. Just as baptism is the start of a new adventure, so is your marriage the start of a new adventure. Just as baptism is an invitation for the Holy Spirit to come into your life and work, so this marriage 
is an invitation for the Holy Spirit to work in your lives. And just as baptism was a commissioning of you as an individual to follow Jesus, serve Jesus, and obey his teaching, so this marriage is a commissioning of you both to serve together, follow Jesus together, and obey his teaching. God is creating something new, something awesome, something wonderful. We talked about marriage before as a solvent. Some may see a solvent as something negative because it breaks down things and no one wants to be broken down. No one wants to be dissolved or lose their identity. But I see the positive side of, of a solvent. A solvent sets you free and marriage as a solvent will set you free to be yourselves. Marriage frees you to be the woman and man that God created you to be. And Stephen, it's your job to encourage Hillary to be the woman God intends her to be. And Hillary, it's your job to encourage Stephen to be the man that God wants him to be. God will use your marriage for his purposes. He will mold you and refine you for your own benefit and for his glory. This is the adventure that you're starting today. This is marriage. So that's marriage. I feel like it's my responsibility to pass on some wisdom or give you some advice. What do you think? Okay. <laughs> so where do we turn for wisdom? Naturally, I thought of two great historians. Bill S. Preston Esquire and Ted Theodore Logan. During their excellent adventure, they shared many wise sayings, but one stood out. One actually changed the world. Be excellent to each other and party on, dudes. <laughs> Be excellent to each other. There's a lot packed into that statement. There's a lot of ways that that this is going to be worked out over the years in your lives. You'll figure out how to be excellent to one another. But I'm going to sum it up this way. Love each other. Not in that shallow use of the word when someone says things like, I love videos of cats. <laughs> and not that shallow way of the world that says, I will love you if you earn my love, but the selfless love, the agape love, the unconditional love that Jesus calls us to have for God and our neighbor and ourselves. The love that Paul describes as patient and kind and bearing all things. Love that is full of grace. We need more grace in our lives. Grace for each other and grace for ourselves. Being excellent to each other means having grace for one another. It means installing confidence in Hillary. It means installing confidence in Stephen. Confidence that they know they are loved, that they are admired. Stephen, Hillary wants to know that you love her despite any faults or flaws. And I know she has none. And Stephen and Hillary, Stephen wants to know that you believe in him despite any faults or flaws. Confidence in one another. Build your marriage on this confidence. Know that you've got each other's back because this is a world that wants to tear us apart and tear us down. Confidence in each other. It also helps to know that God's got your back too. So as a team of three, you've got a pretty strong team. Bill and Ted's second instructions were to party on dudes. Too often Christians live their lives in a somber tone. Our marriages can do this as well. This just doesn't make sense. 
we have the gospel. We have the good news. The good news of Jesus Christ, a Savior who loves us unconditionally. We have a reason to celebrate and a need to celebrate. Celebration brings joy. And joy is what makes us strong. Joy is what gives us energy. Joy is the motor that runs all of our life. Our marriage should be a celebration, a celebration of life. Find ways to celebrate with one another. Rejoice in the Lord always, and again I say rejoice. Party on, dudes. My advice to you is this. Be excellent to one another and party on, dudes. And as more wisdom from Bill and Ted, they also said, the best place to be is here. The best time to be is now. All I can say is let's rock. Are you ready to rock? I'm going to ask you a couple questions. Stephen Mark, will you give yourself to Hillary, Hillary Grace, to be her husband, to love her and comfort her, honor and protect her, and forsaking all others, be faithful to her with your whole heart for your whole life? And Hillary Grace, will you give yourself to Stephen Mark, to be his wife? To love him and comfort him, honor and protect him, and forsaking all others, be faithful to him with your whole heart for your whole life. Stephen, Mark, and Hillary Grace, I invite you to the altar to step forward in your journey and to make your covenant before God and before these witnesses. Who's going first? <clears throat> oh, so, can everybody hear me? Yeah. Good. Okay. So whenever, uh, when I look at you and I see pictures of you from the past, I know that I dreamed of you. <laughs> I was a little boy. There's, there's nothing before this moment that matters. We're going to go places nobody's been before. I'm going to keep pushing those limits. And you always have me. You have all of me. Whatever you want, whatever you need. Just ask me. Got it. <laughs> Stephen, when I met you, I knew my life would never be the same. I felt my soul come alive, and I could swear I heard it say, oh, there you are. Shortly after you became my best friend and my family, you indulged my adventurous spirit and supported my Hello Kitty obsession. It was very clear that this is true love. And while we've had the best times together, we've also known firsthand how heavy life can be. And so today, I promise you from this day on that I will be your comfort and your safe haven. I will share the weight with you. I'll be your confidant, your home, and your queen. I will gladly be your co-pilot and pretend I can read a map, even though we both know we're going to have to pull over so you can read it. <laughs> I will always support you, encourage you to stay gnarly, push you to be the best you can be, and work ceaselessly to strengthen our love and our partnership with each other and our amazing creator. Our love is something rare and beautiful. I will never take it for granted. No matter where life takes us, I'll always be by your side and I will love you with my whole heart for your whole life. I'm yours.
sure it's okay. <laughs> Let us pray. This is a prayer that Paul had for the Ephesians, and, and it's my prayer for you today. For this marriage, I kneel before the Father, from whom every family in heaven and on earth derives its name. I pray that out of his glorious riches he may strengthen you with power through his spirit in your inner being, so that Christ may dwell in your hearts through faith. And I pray that you being rooted in love and established in love may have the power together with all the Lord's people to grasp how high and how wide, how long and how deep is the love of Christ. And to know this love that surpasses knowledge, that you may be filled to the fullness with the fullness of God. Now to him who is able to do immeasurably more than all we can ask or even imagine, according to his power that is work, at work within us, to him be the glory in the church and in Christ Jesus throughout all generations, forever and ever. Amen. <laughs> yeah, you should turn and face them. Now that Stephen, Mark, and Hilary Grace have given themselves to each other by the promises they have exchanged, I pronounce them husband and wife in the name of the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. What God has joined together, let no one separate. You may kiss the bride. <laughs> May God but bless you and love keep you. Today. May the very face of God shine upon you and be gracious to you. May God's Maybe presence embrace you and give you peace. And, and now to all the friends and family who have gathered here to celebrate this marriage, you. I would like to present you to you know for the very first time, I mean. Mr. and Mrs. Stephen and Hillary Rodriguez. Oh, Let's get rich and give everybody nice sweaters and teach them how to dance. Let's get rich and build a house on a mountain, making everybody look like ants. From way up there, you and I, you and I. Well, you might be a bit confused, and you might be a little. A bit bruised. But baby, how we spoon like no one else So I will help you read those books If you will soothe my worried looks And we will put the lonesome on the shelf Let's get rich and buy our parents' homes in the south of France Let's get rich and give everybody nice sweaters and teach them how to dance. Let's get rich and build a house on a mountain, making everybody look like ants. From way up there, you and I, you and I. Let's get rich and buy our parents' homes in the south of France. Let's get rich. Everybody nice sweaters and teach them how to dance Let's get rich and build a house on a mountain Making everybody look like ants From way up there, you and I, you and I <laughs> I did it! I am a wild child, yes I am I love the country I wanna run free and I don't wanna live up to anyone's plans. I wanna feel the good vibes and I wanna feel the sunshine with you by my side. I am. I was like, watch out the window, I'm like...
to gather some people around for the, bring some people over. I need a napkin. I need a glass of milk. Very good friends for a very long time. Just want to say cheers to my friends so near. Hi guys, welcome to the wedding. My name's Mary. Um, I met Hillary about five years ago when I moved down to Mobile, and at first I didn't have a lot of friends. And I started working with her at Nukes Express Cafe. And as soon as I met her, I could just see all the positive energy and happiness and love just radiating from her. But ever since she met Steven, he was kind of like her magnifying glass. He just magnified all of that. And I've just loved being able to watch you grow into the beautiful, mature woman that you are. And I care about you guys so much. And I truly wish you the best of luck in life. And I know y'all are going to go far and change the world. And change each other and you've changed me so much for the better and I just think you both are fabulous so thank you so much for allowing me to be part of your life. Thank you. Cheers everyone. Cheers. We want to thank all of y'all for coming out tonight. It's been a blast but it's not over yet. So. <laughs> Guys, it means so much to have y'all here with us today to share such an important part of our lives and we love you all so much and can't tell you how excited we are to celebrate with you and yeah, stick around, there's a lot more fun coming, there's bonfire and everything like that, there's going to be dancing and you know, all that good wedding stuff, but thank y'all so much and I'm, I'll see all of y'all. <laughs> Cheers.
Oh, 